What's going on guys? My name is Hero, and welcome to another episode of Tropic SMP. I'm hanging out at my slime farm right now, and uh, I thought we could check on the drops, and there's no need, because I can already tell based on uh, these slime balls here is that uh, we're backed up. <laughs> oh no, I, I knew this would happen. I haven't even really done any AFKing here and this happened. I mean, jeez. Um, yeah, we built this on stream. Uh, but real quick, before I continue, I just want to say I realized that I've forgotten the question of the day in the past couple episodes, I think? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember what they were. So uh, I want to ask you guys, real quick, at the beginning of the episode, for once, what's your favorite build theme in Minecraft? Is it medieval, futuristic, modern, western? You know, I'd, I'd really like to know, so be sure to leave a comment down below with hashtag QOTD. Now, in the last episode, I mentioned how I did a live stream trying to find a slime chunk, but couldn't find one due to a bug. And then I would try again another live stream when we updated the server. Well, we, I updated the server, and then I did that live stream a couple hours after the episode went up, and I immediately found a slime chunk. So I got to digging with my good old friend, Simply Glaceon, and... Ooh, wow. Yeah, it goes pretty high up. It goes all the way up to 40. Uh, y equals 40. Um, yeah, and a bunch of other Tropic members also helped throughout the, the stream, so thank you so much to each and every one of them. I really appreciate that. And uh, to thank them, we're going to be giving them all a bunch of free slime, seeing as I have so, so freaking much. I mean, look, that slime just despawned. We're, we're wasting slime right now, guys. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how much we're going to be doing. Uh, I think, I th well, especially someone like Joe, who helped out a ton. I think he'll get a, like, nine stacks sound good, guys. Yeah. Oh, right, I just realized I probably should show you the slime farm first before we leave to go to deploy some slime balls. Uh, this is it. Um, yeah, you see it goes y up, to, up to Y equals 40. Um, I think this was... No, that wasn't going to be a platform. I just I just put that there for continuity, I guess. Um, yeah, so here we have these platforms. Press F3 and G. It's in the middle of a slime chunk. Um, the one that we found on live stream. And we just did all these areas. Now there's three, three blocks between these jack-o'-lanterns, so that way large slimes can still spawn there. And also, jack-o'-lanterns are the best light source for slime farms because uh, they don't obstruct spawning spaces because they're, they, they count as full blocks. Uh, if we did torches, that wouldn't work. If we did, like, glowstone or sea lanterns, it wouldn't work. So, yeah. Now, this was a lot more efficient when I did it in 1.13, so I think something might have changed. I'm not sure. So, anyways, what happens is they jump off and they fall into the water and they get pushed gradually. It seems like they tend to fight it a lot more than I... I expected they uh, used to not fight it so much so we might change this whole mechanism um but usually what people do is they do a bunch of magma blocks with uh with a um a hopper mine cart down beneath but you know since we were having server issues i didn't want to use a hopper mine cart because i thought it might get stuck or broken or something like that so i opted for uh packed ice with the water pads and it does work pretty well um yeah so they come around over here and they they land on campfires and they die. And I went with campfires because hoppers can suck items through them because they're not a full block either. Anyways, enough of that. Let's go deploy some slime balls. Slime balls for you. 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 All slime balls have been deployed. After that live stream where I built a slime farm with a bunch of other members, uh, I uh, did a recording session with Blue where we built an awesome post office. Uh, which is something we've both been planning for quite a while now, and I'm so happy it's finally done. Uh, this post office will let members send each other mail, trade with each other, make payments, uh, give gifts, um, and all kinds of other things, you know? So at this point, you might be wondering why I didn't just use the post office to gift everyone their slime if it's so awesome. Well, I didn't want to spoil it, of course. Oh, and apparently Assertive didn't actually help with the slime farm, uh, but that's okay. He can keep the free slime I gave him. Uh, anyways, let's, let's see this awesome post office. Blue. I, I, I don't want to alarm you, but there's some uh, some skeleton horses over here. Wait, what? Really? <laughs> yeah. That whole time while you were getting ready to record, I, I was just I was spotting these, and I was like, dude, come on, you got to hurry up. I there's actually... To <laughs> Wait, is it going to activate the trap? He's a friendly guy. Who just left these guys here, man? Several minutes of horsing around later. All right, guys, I'm here with Blue, and today we're working on a awesome uh, post office in the... Uh, community district as you can see on the screen right now um, here's the community district this is where we are and uh, yeah we both kind of the story of how this came to be is kind of weird um, so months before this SMP started I had the idea to make a post office right 
Um, and I built it in creative mode, and it was really modern. It looked cool. Uh, and then he came to me and said, hey, I want to build a post office. <laughs> what district do I put it in? Um, and I, uh, I told him, well, I, I was also going to make a post office. So he showed me his design, and it was too, it was very medieval. So we both worked together on a new design that's, uh, you know, it fits a tropical theme. It's very wooden, like these builds here. Maybe it's a little too medieval. Or not medieval. Yeah, uh, not uh, Western. Western, there we go. Maybe it's too Western, but I think it's fine. Should so be yeah, fine. this is where we're building it. You just throw a few uh, palm trees around. It'll look good. Yeah, pa palm, palm trees, trees make everything. anything into uh, modern, you know? Just, yes. it always works. Definitely. Uh, yeah, so, oh, there's a little pond down here. Let's just start oh, okay. off with the uh, the front area. That's all dark oak here. Mm -hmm. Progress is happening, my friends, as you can see. Uh, well, let's get rid of these scaffolding blocks. Uh, this is what we've been working on for the last little while. Uh, and this front is looking amazing. If you're wondering what this little uh, overhang is, uh, this is actually campfires. Uh, if I mine this real quick with my silk touch. Um, if you place a bunch of campfires down and then uh, water log them and take the water back, you get this really unique block that's really cool. I think it's good for bridges, it's good for overhangs. Um, yeah, I really like that. Uh, it really adds some uh, nice depth to it. It was pretty expensive, and that one just gave me coal for some reason. Uh, <laughs> my silk touch didn't work. We'll have to get another campfire. That's okay. Um, but yeah, we've just been working on this. Got a nice little chair spot. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is looking good. What do you think, man? Uh, yeah, no, it's definitely, it's definitely coming together. I mean, when we built it in the creative world, you know, we didn't really get see it come together as, as as much as we are right now so yeah some, we're kind of like learning how how it was built because you know i mean when we built it the interior was kind of separate it was kind of it's kind of complicated because as you can see like yeah. just like the out outer block is kind of going in three blocks just to get like the window effect yeah to get some depth yeah uh yeah if you guys don't know we i don't know if i explained it before but we i built the interior first and then we started working the exterior, and he did most of the exterior. Um, so, yeah, we, the, it was really built as a shell. So it's really interesting to see the front facade without the interior. It's super interesting. I like it. It looks really cool. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're going to keep working, peeps, and we'll be back with another progress report once we get some more progress done. Okay. All right, so the front facade is done. Uh, the entire top we did the letters and everything there's like the little roof part on the mm -hmm. top the sign is done it shows we still have yet to put the campfire back but yeah. other than that the front is done now we just need to work on the sides and back and then the yeah inside, and also also he confessed that in that last clip when it looks like i broke the campfire with my silk touch and it didn't work with silk touch apparently he broke it at the exact same time yeah, um, was, which if you're watching his perspective you probably saw that <laughs> it was perfectly timed to, to the point where it looked exactly like he broke it but <laughs> his silk touch didn't work just yeah hilarious. um so yeah i've started a little bit on the side here and i'm just gonna work my way up and copy it to the other side mm -hmm. uh so in the next scene we'll have so much more progress done uh it's gonna be insane and then we're gonna start working on the interior which i'm not gonna lie man you guys if you guys are thinking about clicking off this video don't okay you want to see that amazing floor okay the floor design for the interior is gorgeous <laughs> My favorite part, I mean, honestly. Yeah, it's not even that much. It's not even that complicated. It's just really that it looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> so we got done with this side, and the front facade is looking really cool. Um, I fixed the campfire. <laughs> uh, yeah. Look at this. I don't know if we showed it off with the top done yet, but it's looking amazing, dude. We've outdone ourselves. Yeah. Um, I like the foliage too. A little bit of grass mm -hmm. there, and this side here, we have a nice little window. That window is going into the redstone, by the way. Uh, so it's a completely random and unnecessary window, but it looks cool, okay? That's what we're going for here. We want well, to look yeah, good. that's the point. Yeah. Doesn't have to function. Not that window that would be You pretty, might be wondering, who takes care of those right. plants so high up? Especially when the window is in, like, the, the, the uh, engineering room. No one does. Those plants, look, never mind. Blue does. See, he waters the plants every day. All right? I don't have any water. <laughs> well, you left it here. I have it. Um... So yeah, what we're doing next is uh, we're going to start mirroring it on this side. And while we do that, I kind of want to talk about what the point of this building is. Because I realize I don't think we really touched on that very much, huh? Um, no. I mean, well, it's obviously a mail building. We just yeah, it's a mail building. It's a post office. Uh, and the idea is, uh, I mean, it's going to be kind of like Hermitcraft. If you guys have ever watched that, uh, people can uh, use it for social reasons. You know, they could just leave a message, rename a piece of paper. 
And you might be wondering, well, why don't they just shoot a message over Discord? Because this is more fun. <laughs> okay? Obviously. Yeah. So yeah, it's more fun, and uh, there's also another there's another usage. So they can use it for social reasons, but they could also use it for uh, promotional reasons. You know, like uh, when you when you see your inbox, there's the different tabs. Um, so c businesses and shops can uh, put discounts there. You know, promo codes, stuff like that. Um, it's also a great place for shops to advertise when there's a new shop in town. Is to just give everyone a nice little discount or something. That's what I really like to do. Uh, yeah, and I'll definitely be doing that with my lantern shop. For sure, give everyone. I, I don't know. I think I'll give everyone like a free stack of lanterns, and mm -hmm. say, uh, you know, it's it's now in the shopping district, even though it's been here for like two weeks. Um, I actually messed up uh, in the middle here. Uh, we need uh, these two spots. Yeah, yeah. If you're wondering why he's running around, he's actually checking the other side, because this one's the exact side, the exact same thing. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hard to. Uh, I mean, even it. though we built we built this, and it's it's still like I still have no idea where everything. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um. So yeah, and then we got that, and then uh, we need da, 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 spru uh, stripped. The names in Minecraft again too complicated, guys. I keep calling these. What was I calling before? I called them st stripped doohickeys. What did I call them before that? <laughs> Strip thing and There we go. We're having a difficult time, that's all I know. Yeah, my brain is just not functioning. Uh, also, I need stairs. Um, I might as well show you guys what resources we got, since I'm going over here. We've used most of them, but uh, yeah, this is what we're working with. Uh, do we have any more... Do you have more oak stairs? Oh, uh, yeah, I have 17. Okay, good. I already did it. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> and also, another reason people might want to use the mail building is for... Uh, you know, just nice, fun things, just gifts, you know? Like maybe for uh, someone's birthday, you give them some, some diamonds or something. You know, that sounds fun, right? I would do that. Or some diamond blocks. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to be a big spender for them. You know, my birthday might be in like a month. <laughs> oh, lucky you. My birthday was before the S&P. No, my birthday was... Actually, January. no, it wasn't. It was, it was the day after the S&P started. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you, have any, do you have any other ideas of like uses for this building? I mean, yeah, generally just giving gifts and stuff is a good idea. Yeah, I mean, social reasons, business reasons, and nice uh, reasons. I feel like that's it. Trading, I guess. Say some Ooh, borrow right. something from someone, and then if they forget to, you, then the person who borrowed it to you logs off, then you can just put it in their mailbox. Yeah, or if someone dies and logs off, um, mm -hmm. that'd be a great thing. And also, I was just thinking, another business reason would be to uh, uh, give someone, like if you're in a business together, you can give their payment there. Um, yeah. For their dividends or their split, their share, you know. Yeah, um, yeah that's how you keep it fair. Where did where did the plots go? By the way, the plants they go. Oh, they just go right in the middle. It looks like. Yeah. Uh, do you have trapdoors? I have them. I got them. No, you should. Mm, I have some lanterns on me, so we can. Yeah. Uh... I feel like that's most of the uses. So trust me, guys, we'll get a lot of use out of this thing. Uh, it's just a nice thing for SMPs to have, though. Like I feel like every SMP should have one such a mm -hmm. nice and cool thing to do right yeah so yeah we're gonna keep doing some building and uh i think we'll come back when we have both sides finished and then we're gonna work a bit on the back uh as well it's gonna be a lot of fun the back is probably the most complicated part it's probably my, it might be my favorite side though uh he, yeah, he did most of the work on the, on the back and oh man it's an incredible design i just went insane on lots it. of foliage Maybe it stands out with how much it is compared to the other sides, but I don't mind. I think it looks cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so like 45 minutes later, we're done. We got a little carried away, and we finished the entire build. Um, here's what a side view looks like. Here's the front. You already saw the front um, and the side. The uh, the best part is the back. Let's show the back. Yeah. Uh, he uh, did most of the back. and This definitely was not our intention. But, you yeah, know, here's the back. Yeah, it looks amazing. Uh, there were definitely some creeper attacks. Some that killed him. Some that blew up the back of the build. But it's uh, that's fine. fine. It's fixed, right? We're not yep. going to talk about it. Here's this side. Looking very detailed. Yeah, let's show the roof. Uh, it's a very and simple roof. roof. Anything, but, you know, it's still... You got you to keep in mind, though, people will fly over this with elytras eventually. Uh, this block is off. It doesn't match that block. What's going on? Where? It doesn't match on this side. It's just mm -hmm. one block on its own. I think we just uh, it. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think that, that doesn't need to be there. 
Oh, my inventory is full. My inventory is full of garbage, guys. Uh, where's the way down again? Where did you place it? Okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so yeah, we have a little. We have some supports up here holding the sign up. Okay, that's not nice. Here, here, here. Nope. No, 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 no. So just it. jump and press shift. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, yeah, I could have done that. We tested. They, they, kind of, they kind of do look like, uh, like, like things oh. you would like. Yeah, they look like they'd be bouncing. Jump on. Huh? Yeah. Little trampolines. Uh, the interior is not exactly finished per se. I'm going to be doing this more off camera. But here it is. I've done all the redstone. So you see, if we go to my chest, for example, if there's something in there, like someone gave me some gold nuggets and a sunflower, my light will turn on. And when I come to take it out, uh, well, when I come take it out, come, so come on, man. There we go. It goes off. So, yeah, we have everyone here. Uh, we have all those members. And we also have four extra slots in case we get more members in the future. So, yeah, this is uh, this is looking pretty cool. Um, yeah, and this right here is going to be a desk. And you might be wondering why there's enchantment tables. Uh, that's because I'm going to be putting a villager here in a minecart. And he's going to be the person who runs this place, you know? Um, he'll be the... What's it called? The... Re... Uh, re... 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 Um... I don't know. You know, Pam's role in the office? A person oh, who sits uh, at a desk. Receptionist. Uh, I know. Reception, yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That'll be the receptionist. And uh, we'll, I'm going to be putting a little computer here. That's going to be awesome. So we'll check back in a few days when I have that done. Uh, but for now, this is the finished build, man. we got some nice lighting in here. This floor, guys, Did I, I told you it's to die for. Was I right, Blue? Was I right? <laughs> yes. It plays tricks in your eyes, though. It's not like a perfect grid if you look at it. Yeah. This could be a, a desktop wallpaper, though, dude. It's like, just, I'm going to make it my desktop wallpaper. <laughs> Same, man. Let's get a screenshot of that. It's a desktop screen. wallpaper right there. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> so, just that, yeah. just the floor, not even the building. Just the floor. Uh, so yeah, I feel like, I mean, it's not like it's a competition or anything, but I feel like this is definitely one of the most impressive builds on the server currently. Um, well, there aren't many. We could do better. <laughs> we could do better, man. We could do something even bigger and better. But for right now, I'm very proud of this, man. This is incredible. It's a mm -hmm. very good build. Um, nice little flower stands. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to show with the redstone rooms. Oh, no, we can. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, That's you it. can. You just look inside there. Yeah, there's nothing. Well, that glowstone, glowstone is just necessary. to make sure. It's just to make sure that they don't... Mobs yeah. don't spawn. <laughs> yeah. And glowstone's prettier than torches, you know? Um, yeah, so... Food. I think we're done here, man. We did it. Yeah. Took us... Been, uh, how long? Yeah. Here, let me check. I think three hours total. I timed the entire thing. Uh, it oh, took us... Three hours, exact. Oh my gosh, I'm a genius. So yeah, guys, this is uh, the build. It's incredible. Please please be sure to leave some comments down below with what you think about this build, some feedback maybe. Maybe you want some things changed. We would really appreciate it. Uh, and, you know, this scene is pretty much identical on each of our channels. We're doing a both progress report style. But even though that's the case, I feel like if you're watching one of our videos, you should check out the other person's video. Um, because this isn't the entire video. We're both doing other things for our episode, you know? So, yeah. As the yeah. sun sets, I think I think we're done here, man. Yep. Wow, that post office really came together. I know for a fact that Blue and I are both very proud of that build, and uh, it's awesome. We love it so much. I already went into the story of how it came to be and how we uh, both worked on it in creative mode and kind of passed it off to each other back and forth. So it's kind of both of our project together kind of equally. Um, so I won't go back into that again, but... I want to talk about timeline a little bit more. So uh, after, uh, I don't know, a little after uh, that we built that, uh, I did a live stream where I finished off all of the maps for the map floor that uh, Kay had at her base so that way uh, we could work on a map wall together. And that's exactly what we did. About a week later, we worked on a, uh, a, gaz a central gazebo for the community district as a place to hold a map wall and a map floor of Isle Bombo so that other members can find their way around a lot easier. So uh, yeah, let's jump into that. All right, guys, so we've made a lot of progress. This is actually the first progress report that we're doing. Um, yeah, it seems kind of weird to start off with a bunch of progress already made and not show the beginnings. Um, but this is the, uh, what, what was the word? Gazebo, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was starting off as a gazebo, but we're, now we're thinking we might not want to even have a roof. Um, I don't know. Uh, we're still thinking about it, uh, and we're having a floor map and a wall map, which will be identical. 
Um, and we're using uh, jack-o'-lanterns to keep them lit up, but uh, they won't be visible. Um, which is why on the back side, we're uh, trying to think of a way to cover this up cleverly. Uh, we're just going to start off with a base layer of uh, white concrete, I guess, and then we're going to start adding some details with uh, trap doors and, and iron stuff, you know, and quartz stuff. So, yeah. Um, actually, we could do some mini white uh, or mini quartz uh, arches in there, possibly, to oh, get some depth. That's a good idea. Yeah, I just, I just remembered that right now. That's a good idea. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you want to you wanna add anything about these, uh, these wonderful arches that you've made? Um, not really. They're <laughs> arches. <laughs> they are. We but, spent but a, I do... a lot focusing on these pillars, though. Yeah. Took a while to get what we wanted. Yeah. Also, I should probably show um, the, uh, the foliage out front. Went for a sand oh. base and palm trees, just because oh, this oh. is probably the least tropical build here, right? Um, yeah. So let's make it more tropical. Let's get some sand in there, get a palm tree, you know? Yeah, and um, don't forget your rock. It fits right in. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a rock. Looks yeah. like one to me. Did you say you built yeah. that? No. Okay, I was going to say this. I built the rock. <laughs> Let's get that right. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, we're going to keep building this and uh, start working on some arches. We might we might not even connect the pillars. They might just stay there as pillars, you know? Um, yeah, I think it'd be better to just leave it as. So what, what I'm saying is the build right now is either 90% complete or, like, 40% complete. We really don't know. <laughs> um, we'll just keep messing with things and figure it out. So, yeah, I'll be back in a bit when we get, uh, or we'll be back in a bit when we get some more progress done on this thing. All right, guys, so it's been a bit. We've gotten quite a lot more progress done. Um, we decided it's probably best not to go with a, uh, a roof at all or anything like that. Maybe we're thinking of a dome or maybe a donut shape. But, uh, yeah, no, we think it's just best just to have the pillars. Looks kind of Roman more than tropical, but that's fine. Um, I mean, that was more Western than <laughs> tropical, so. And then that was more medieval. <laughs> Than tropical. <laughs> uh, and same thing with my uh, the horse stables. Um, yeah. So, anyways, we were kind of we were kind of stuck between using these two different glasses. What do you guys think? Okay, we want some comments. How do you guys feel about this? I like this one, the light gray stained glass because it's it's more transparent, you know. But it does have a bit of a foggy nature to it. You know, this lets you see right through to it and see the saturation, just like with this one. Um, but it has the nasty borders that are like completely opaque and like block the view. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys think? We'll uh, definitely listen to your feedback for that. And we thought maybe have maybe maybe a third option could be having it extruded up one, so it could be just like this one. Um, but we don't like we don't like how risky that is. You know, like one creeper could destroy so much work here. Um, yeah, especially because this district isn't lit up very well. Um, but yeah. if we spam torches everywhere. Yeah, yeah, just like I did on my <laughs> island. <laughs> um, yeah, just make a couple hundred sacks of torches. Um, oh, right. Also, something I want to, to mention is in the last clip, we were kind of struggling to uh, come up with a design for the back to not have it flat. And, uh, okay, she's already going there. <laughs> I had this cool idea to do uh, just like a little arcing thing. And then while I was while I was AFK getting a drink, I came back and she did all of this, and like wow, this is way better than what I was imagining. This is good, guys. Wow, what do you guys think of this? Um, definitely a good strong backing for it. Um, yeah, and there's some hidden lighting here and there. We got some uh, glowstone underneath all the, the carpets. We got plenty of lanterns. Um, I wanted to put lanterns in every block possible, but you know, like this. Uh, but she said that that's a little too much lanterns, so I respect that. Um, trying to advertise though, for your shop. Pretty, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the best new block, okay? It deserves to be advertised as much as possible. So yeah, I think we're I think we're done with this project for now. Um, it was a little bit shorter, like quick, like faster paced for the recording. We only did two progress reports on this, um, uh, but that's fine because this is meant to be a smaller part of each of our videos. We each have uh, other big things to do in the videos. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna leave this here. Uh, please be sure to leave as much feedback as possible in the comments down below. Wow, guys, the community district is really coming together. We got a blue starter farm over there. We got my stable. We got uh, Haney and I's enchantment table. Is that how you say Haney and I's? I don't, I don't know. Uh, we got the post office, and we got the, uh, uh, I don't know, the, the map thingy. Um, give us a name, guys. It's not a gazebo anymore because we went with uh, just the pillar design. There's no roof or anything like that. Um, yeah, I think this is a good enough spot as any to uh, end the episode off. Just looking at this. 
Uh, once again, I, I want to remind you guys. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Which one do you guys think is better? Um, I've already gotten some uh, opinions on it, but uh, I don't want to influence you guys too much. So, uh, yeah, before the sun sets. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, there's a button for that down below. And if you really liked it, there's a button for that too. But anyways, guys, my name has been Hero, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye!